13 Tips on How to Survive Wild Animal Attacks. Hey there, subscribers! Have you ever been stuck on a deserted island? Have you ever been left alone in a huge, thick forest? Have you ever came across a shark while scuba diving? Have you and your friends ever been disturbed by a wild animal while camping? You might be wondering what you would do if you were ever faced with such a situation. Well, here are 13 tips on how to survive wild animal attacks. Be attentive as these tips might come in handy and might actually save your life. Number 13. Sharks According to statistics, sharks are responsible for only six deaths annually. You may think why I have used the word only. I mean, so emotionless. Well, when compared to other animals, deaths caused by sharks are only a tiny bit. This might be surprising for you because most of us think, mainly because of all the shark movies we have watched, that as soon as we go deeper in the ocean, we are bound to be eaten alive by a shark. Well, luckily for you, this is not the case. There are a total of 150 species of shark, out of which only 20 attack humans. The positive side to this is that it's easier to deal with 20 species rather than 150. Okay, so what to do if a shark gets interested in you? In reality, if a shark gets interested in you, it's very hard to escape. But if you follow this advice that I'm going to share, maybe you'll only have to lose one leg instead of two. Alright, I'm just having a little fun. So, the most important thing is to prevent blood or urine from getting in the water. The reason behind this is that sharks can smell blood and urine from miles away. So even if the shark didn't even know you were close by, as soon as your blood touches the water, it will exactly know where you are and it will be right in front of you before you know it. God forbid if the shark is right in front of you. Don't turn your back and try to escape. Instead, stay calm and move away slowly while facing the shark. If you try to escape, the shark will definitely perceive you as a prey and will come after you. And finally, if you're caught, go for the shark eyes and gills, as these places are the most sensitive. Number 12. Kangaroos Yes, an animal as cute as a kangaroo can also prove to be very dangerous only if you threaten it by entering its territory. Once the kangaroo feels threatened, it will most likely attack you. At a time like this, only coughing can save you. Who knew coughing had a bright side to it? When you cough in front of a kangaroo, it thinks you might have a disease which is why it most likely won't attack you. Next, move away slowly. As you move further away, you will become smaller and smaller in the eyes of the kangaroo and thus no longer a threat. It's the same with kangaroos as it was with the sharks. Don't turn your back on them and try to run away. This will only provoke the kangaroos to attack you. Aren't they egotistic? Number 11. Lions If you ever have an encounter with a lion, maintain eye contact throughout. Again, don't turn your back or look away. This will just give the lion the reaction time to attack you. In addition, try to look huge, raise your arms above your head, or hold a stick in your arms above your head. This will help you to get away as the animal might consider you a threat when you seem so big and thus it will not attack. Also, speak to the lion in a very loud and confident voice. While making sounds, this will confuse the lion as well as irritate it. So it will try to stay as away from your presence as it can. Number 10. Elephants According to statistics, elephants are responsible for 500 deaths annually. Yes, this cute, friendly, easy to write animal can prove to be lethal if you're not careful. Female mothers are what one should be careful with. If a female mother gets a slightest hint that you're a threat for her baby, she's going to attack you. So how would you know if an elephant is about to attack you? 
The most important thing is to take note of their body language. Ear flapping, bush bashing, trumpeting, dust throwing, and mock charging can all form part of the pre-charge performance. So, if an elephant is angry, you'll know all about it. As soon as you figure out that something is wrong, try to find a barrier between you and the elephant. It can be a big rock or a tree. Number 9. Rhinoceroses If you were planning to run away from this one, you're going to have a hard time. Rhinoceroses' speed can reach up to 37 miles per hour, so it will be really hard to run away from them. But I never use the word impossible. Thus, if you are ever faced with such an animal, it would be dumb to try to run away from it. Instead, the smarter option is to hide behind a tree or run into tall grass as it won't follow you there since they have impaired eyesight. Number 8. Hippopotamus Their appearance goes along very well with statistics. I always found hippopotamuses frightening, and I did rightfully so. According to statistics, they are responsible for 500 deaths annually. Despite their huge size, they can run up to 18.5 miles per hour. In water and on land, and on top of that, they have severe anger management issues. If the weather is hot, the water level reduces due to which hippopotamuses hide in the bushes. So it's advised not to enter the bushes on such days. And if you have a hippopotamus running after you, it's best if you climb up a steep hill or on top of a tree and chill until the hippo leaves you alone. Number 7. Bulls Many people have the opinion that bulls are attracted to red flags, which are false. Bulls are attracted to movement. So if a bull is coming towards you, don't run away. Stay still and use your cap or whatever you have at that moment to create a distraction. When the bull is close enough, throw the cap in a different direction. The bull will go after the cap, giving you ample time to escape. Number 6. Jellyfish If you have ever been bitten by a jellyfish, you would know how much it stings. Peeing on the bitten place is just an untrue opinion. It doesn't do any good. Instead, wash the area with salt water. Please note that using pure water will only worsen the pain. Then using a pair of tweezers or any similar thing, remove the remaining parts of the jellyfish and apply antihistamine ointment if you have any. Number 5. Alligators or Crocodiles According to statistics, Crocodiles cause 1,000 deaths annually. One reason might be that it has one of the strongest jaws in the world. So, if you are caught by a crocodile, it won't be easy to escape. What you can do is try to hit the crocodile on its eyes or throat in order to break free since these are the only sensitive zones. If you're randomly swimming in a lake and you see a crocodile not so far away, don't panic. Don't start splashing water, it will just grab the attention of the crocodile. Instead, swim to safety as quietly as possible. Number 4. Snakes These are one of the most lethal animals, as according to statistics, as they're responsible for 100,000 deaths annually. But it's not entirely their fault, since 80% of the people get bitten by them just because they try to catch this reptile. Most snakes are not dangerous or poisonous. However, if you feel like a snake is following you, stomp your feet. The vibrations will confuse the snake and it will let you go. Most importantly, please do not attempt to suck out the poison like they do in the movies. Instead, wash the wound with running water and call 911. Number 3. Bears Bears rarely attack people, but it is still necessary to know some behavioral rules. Don't try to run as you will look like prey to the bear, and also because bears can run up to 30 miles an hour. The best advice is to fall to the ground. Curl up in a ball and cover your neck with your hands. 
The bear might toss you around, but it's very important that you stay calm and pretend to be dead. Number 2. Gorillas With gorillas, it's simple. Just sit down to not seem large as compared to the gorilla. Try to whisper and avoid direct eye contact. In case of an attack, curl up in a ball. It will let you go since gorillas don't attack the weak. And lastly, number one, bees. It's advised to not walk past a hive since bees protect their hives at all costs, so they might inflict a bite. Dark colors attract bees, so try wearing light colors. If you're being followed by bees, hide in a dark place. The lack of vision will cause the bees to leave you alone. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you never have to come across such a situation. And if you do, you know the drills. Click on the bell icon and subscribe for more amazing content.